Hello and welcome back to Enterati Studio. We are here at European Utility Week and I am joined by Eric from Line Jump. Hi Eric, welcome. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time today. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to ask you what your role is at Line Jump and what Line Jump is all about. Okay, so um, I am a co founder of Line Jump. Uh, we started the business uh, about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, myself and uh, the other co-founder, Ning Zhang, were working at Centrica, uh, mm -hmm. which is one of the larger utilities in the UK. Um, and we came to realize that there was a lot of opportunity to help uh, end customers and small-scale distributed generators. So we set about creating uh, what LimeJump has built itself to be today. So, so we consider ourselves to be a technology-driven utility. Basically a next generation of what the utility model should look like. Mm. Um, what this means is that we provide to distributed generators and businesses and hopefully households sometime in the future um, full market access. What that means is that all the benefits that currently uh, are available to large-scale power plants, we bring them right down to uh, a farmer with a small biogas plant or a large business. So literally they are becoming proactive energy market participants. Something that really they, does not happen at scale today. And the way we do this is by aggregating these types of businesses and biogas generators and small-scale hydro plants into what we call a virtual power plant that literally behaves in the exact same way as a large gas-fired station might do. Yeah. But I think at the core of this is the fact that these now end users or end participants can benefit by being much more proactive in the electricity market. Okay. Um, and I suppose how, how, is, how would you differentiate yourself from other suppliers? What makes you different? I think it's exactly that. It's the ability to give control. Um, it's the ability for us to say, look, if you can change or manage your electricity usage better, or if you are a generator and can manage the way you generate better, I'm talking about small scale distribution connected uh, businesses and generators. But if you can do that better, you can get better value from what you're doing. Mm. So for, let's say for a, for a large industrial and commercial customer, a large factory, by changing when they use their electricity, they will make a savings. Mm. Um, if they are then able to exploit flexibility, so going, I can shut down my, my usage at short notice to help balance the system, they will get paid for doing these kind of activities. Mm. And I think that there is done in most cases in a fully automated uh, system which we install at customer sites um, and a core part of it is the ability for us to be able to uh, intuitively show this information so clean transparency uh, we don't hide our fees um, we don't hide anything within the kind of value chain so if they want to know the full detail it's readily available via an online software platform okay great um, so it's how does LineJump give customers a route to market uh, in particular reference to PPAs? Yeah, so we, so PPA, um, I think it might be used in, in uh, the, the European space, but in, in the UK it, it's called a power purchase agreement, mm -hmm. so PPA, and what that means is that as an electricity supplier, we might go to a farmer that has, processes his food waste, turns it into methane gas, puts that gas in a generator and then starts generating electricity. Yeah. Um, we will then commit to buy that electricity from him and sell it onto the wholesale market. Um, and in doing this, we try and get our pricing to match what is optimally best for that specific one small generator. Mm. That solution we are delivering today is really exclusively available to large power plants. But we are trying to give that same market access and market opportunity right down to an individual farmer with a small scale generator. Um, and we will then of course trade that, that, that electricity uh, to his benefit. Um, hope that makes sense. <laughs> no, it does. Okay. Um, so, could you give us an overview of the software that, you know, that gives, us access, gives, gives us access to the market? Yeah, um, so it's, it's a mix of um, of software capability, so we 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 have two. We have a cloud-based system where all our 
management and optimization or reporting to the customer is done. Mm -hmm. We also have what is called embedded software. It is hardware that we install with our software on it at a customer site. This piece of kit will get connected, let's say, to a customer's generator or let's say to an air conditioning unit yeah. in a large building. So we'll connect it in, our software will monitor and manage what's going on, and it can automatically adjust the settings of the generator or the air conditioning unit in response to market price signals. Um, all that information then goes in the cloud, uh, and the customer has easy access to visualize, to see it, uh, and we try and provide a bit of information uh, um, and knowledge kind of gaps that are there yeah. through our interface. Okay, and I suppose that leads on to you know, referring to the future. Yeah. Um, are solutions for households um, in the pipeline for your future plans? Uh, th they definitely are, and I think that the, the way we see ourselves is that a, mo a modern day, a next generation utility, uh, needs to, to basically provide this access to every single participant. Mm. Everybody needs to get involved. Um, for us, it doesn't quite economically work yet to get involved with households, mm. and it's because the smart meters and stuff are not fully laid out, and the the, the access to their data is not readily available. But the UK will probably be there by 2020 um, in terms of smart meter rollouts. When that position comes, we will be able to exploit and provide these opportunities down to household levels. So let, let's say roughly about five plus years down the way for us. Mm. Our core focus today is larger businesses and distributed generators. So these are small scale wind farms, biogas plants and things like this. Okay, and you mentioned earlier about um, the knowledge gap. Uh, how do you close the knowledge gap when it comes to your customers? So, to be to in, in, in all honesty, this is a very tough one. Yeah. And the, the thing is that in most cases, the customers also don't know what they need. Yeah. Um, because their way of looking at the electricity industry has always been I use electricity, I get a bill, I pay it. Mm. So to try and transition that much more proactive response from a customer in that chain going, you should be more proactive, this will lower your bill, or if you're a generator, you should be more proactive, this will increase your revenue, um, without complicating and confusing them, is a big, for, for, within our businesses, we call it UX, so it's user experience. Uh, and we have a team that tries to look at how do we best display information and how do we best try and fill that knowledge gap. But in all honesty, it is a revolving uh, thing for us, trying to get it better and better and better. But it's about right data at the right time in the right way. Yeah, so it's okay. Um, and I suppose what I wanted to ask you is in regards to Germany. Yeah. Um, and you know, we had a chat earlier about how Germany, you know, are five years ahead of the UK. Um, what 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 can we apply? What are you applying to your business um, from a learning? What you're learning from Germany? So we we've seen um, virtual power plants uh, grow in Germany very fast, and they've done an absolute tremendous job at it. You've got a few mm. companies there doing what we're trying to do in, in the UK. Um, so they aggregate a lot of distributed generation. They provide route to market, and they provide all the flexibility from the assets. Um, the market is slightly different in Germany, but what we've learned from our, our kind of peers over there mm. um, is that there are, you know, there are ways to go about doing things. Um, what we are trying to bring that is probably a bit new to what they have is the customer engagement experience. So in terms of how to operate a virtual power plant, we are trying to learn as much as we can. Yeah. Uh, and we're trying to get also that final end, that final piece of the puzzle which goes, how do we scale it all the way down to households? Um, and that is software. That is like, uh, I mean, Uber is a perfect example. Yeah. Everybody uses it now. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't have thought, how do you access cars on the streets? Yeah. Three, four years ago, you'd have been, I don't know. Today it's simple, but it's because it's all simply done via an iPhone app. Yeah. And I think electricity and what we're trying to do needs to devolve itself into that level. It needs to get down there and be, yeah. be that simple and that kind of dynamic keeping and, the user in mind. and yeah. keeping the user in mind at all times. Yeah, of course. Um, so I suppose that would lead me on to asking what is quite a broad question and we kind of like to ask um, our interviewees, um, what recommendations would you give to utilities today? What, what, what would you believe are the core 
activities or what you think is the most important to succeeding so I, in the utility yeah. industry today? I think a key thing that they need to keep in mind is that shift happens. Yeah. The industry is set to change. It's not a bad thing, um, but they need to be in queue on that basis. And I think you look at an event like this that has all the relevant service companies around, everybody is actually trying to work in this direction. Yeah. Um, so I think that as long as the utilities are keeping on top of this and finding the right technologies to bring into their businesses, uh, they will find a way to innovate. But these are gigantic institutions. Um, they have been around for a long time. They've got old systems, old infrastructure in place. So adapting is harder. It's just the nature of it. And I, but I think they're doing a good job. I mean, there's, there's a lot of companies out there that can assist them now. Uh, and I know a lot of the utilities are taking this on board and are trying to make that, that change. I mean, the event this year is all about that. And this is for utilities. So, um, but I think our view here was that if we want to tackle this market the right way, instead of just becoming a software vendor to a utility, we become a utility and we build a system from right in down straight to the customers. Fantastic. Mm. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Um, excited to see your journey, I suppose, over the next couple of years. Yeah, so um, are we. <laughs> and please do join um, us at enterati.com for more interviews with uh, over the next three days. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well done.